Hello everyone, it's Daniel here for Arsenal Above All. Uh, just got home following the game. Um, I tried to record the vlog um, outside the ground or in my car, but my battery died, typical. So yeah, just some uh, brief um, thoughts on the game and what my views are. So starting with the back, um, I'm not going to go through each player individually, but just the outstanding um, performances. So Gabriel, obviously, man of the match, um, not just for the goals, but just the way he defended. The way he dealt with everything in both boxes, his defending was just good all around. Fantastic. Um, props to Martinelli as well for the the, uh, the cameo and the two goals. But also I thought Trossard, although you know he had a couple of chances, I, I do think he, he did well today and he took his goal really well. So props to him. Uh, Odegaard was busy, kept things ticking and moving. Um, and Zinni was quite tidy on the ball as well. So yeah, overall, not bad. It wasn't a swashbuckling kind of very, very, very dominant performance whereby we created loads of clear-cut opportunities, but um, the ones we did have, we put them away. I would say that the scoreline probably flattered us a bit. 3-0 uh, probably would have been fair, but um, 5 we got, so I can't really complain. Um, to bits of, um, bits of the team that I was not so sure of was uh, again we saw evidence of the the front three not really clicking um and the more it's kind of going on the more i'm seeing it now i don't know if it's a i don't know if it's a case of they're not clicking or it's just a case of that opposition teams know how to get around us now so it's a case of as a club we need a plan b and a plan c for these eventualities whereby teams are going to double up on our wingers and they're going to overcrowd our centre forward so that basically you can't get any service you can't get any runs on players and it's basically a bit squashed for space and stuff I noticed that Palace when they were defending they were in a 5-4 5-4-1 and then when going forward they were in like a like a 4-3-3 or like a 4-4-2 kind of hybrid um, and that perhaps is becoming the way for certain teams to play at Arsenal now because they know how much joy it can bring um, are we going to go in the transfer market I've had many conversations about this I don't think we will I think we're skating thin on the edge of um, FFP and I think we have to be careful that's my view um, so are we going to see any big money players coming in in January no is my guess maybe a loan deal or two perhaps um, you know I'd love to see a Benzema coming for six months wouldn't we all but um, I don't know how likely that is I think what we need to focus on first and foremost is to get the players that we have at the club playing well, get them in form, uh, get players like uh, Smith Rowe, Vieira, Partey, get them all contributing well, get Tommy back, get Timber back to fitness and uh, quite importantly get Jesus firing in some goals. Um, he's been quite profligate in many respects but he's also not probably been in the right place at the right times um, to get the goals that he possibly could get. Obviously, his link-up play is great. The way he plays with the team, he drops back, he goes out on the wing. That's all lovely, but we just need a number nine to just stay in and around the penalty box and to just lap up the goals. Or a dynamic number nine who can move around, but still, you know, contribute to goals. Um, much like that lot down the road used to have. I won't say his name because it's a swear word, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, overall, happy to get the three points. You know, it's been a bit... The one win in seven has made things a bit um, downcast, but um, we got the result today. Let's look forward now to Forest and Liverpool, two very difficult games. Um, I'm happy that we, we are kind of out of the conversation at the moment uh, in terms of the pundits and that they're all talking about City and getting their players back and Liverpool and their performances and, and, all, and all of that. So I'm happy for Arsenal to kind of just play catch up and just to work hard silently and quietly in the background and just um, hopefully come with a boom in the second half of the season now, yeah? But that's it, Daniel for Arsenal above all. I'm back and I'll see you soon.